Hi everyone. You know it's Wednesday and I'm actually doing this video over because yeah I had some computer issues this week or file saving issues. So you know as long as I'm doing it over I might as well go big and go with a glass of champagne. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to see you guys here in the middle of the week. It's actually I'm filming this again on a Sunday uh, night this time, not Sunday morning, and uh, hopefully this time it'll stick. Yeah, I had some uh, computer issues that are driving me crazy and you know, it is what it is. You know, you get over it or you don't. You know, I choose to get over it. So, just going to do over the parts that I have to do over. And, um, you know, I kind of wanted to do some pre-recording on the weekends so that on the weekdays, I just don't feel stressed to come out of work and try to make a video and get it edited and get it uploaded and still find time to watch other people's videos, comment on their videos, because I want to support them like they support me. And working long hours does is not conducive to trying to support people in YouTube. So I thought, you know what, I want to try to start doing that more on the weekends when I have the energy to pre-record for the week. And then during the week, I'm free to just uh, watch and comment and let's go from there. So anyway, we are doing a wine diary. I am so excited. And so the one I did earlier and uh, actually after I finished the video I said you know I don't think think I really like this wine to do it again in the same video the same day so I had opened um, a bottle of wine called River Walk Red from uh, Warm Springs Winery in Georgia and it was good but I just didn't feel like having more of it the same day you know what I mean so it was uh, like a muscatine uh, a Georgia Muscatine, which a Southern Muscatine is going to be a really nice sweet wine. And they had it mixed with one of their Norton, their drier wines. So it had peppery flavors in it and cinnamon and clove like mulling spices on the dry side mixed with that sweet fruit and from the Muscatine. And it was good. But like I said, I didn't want to have more of it the same day. Yeah, I don't know why. So I decided, you know what, as long as I'm doing it over, I've got these leftover little bottles of champagne from my countdown to New Year's. I know I'm going to like this. I thought that I would do this. So anyway, the I had done DoorDash the night before. And so this is what I'm having for my dinner tonight, my appetizers. So um, there's a place called China Dragon. And it's really not that far from here, maybe 10 minutes away. And I know we used to love to go there because, well, there was a smoke shop next door to it, so I would go in and order the food, and then one of us, you know, I'm not going to say his name and embarrass him. Okay, so it was Rick. He would go into the tobacco store and just chit-chat away with everybody and sample different kinds, and yeah, so that was, he liked doing that, and I like doing this. Yeah, so it was kind of like, yeah, two for, you know. You could go there, I could go here, and then they had a caribou uh, coffee shop in the same place on the way home. We could grab a to-go coffee or frozen coffee drink. Yeah, that was a good little strip mall. Alrighty, so uh, back to what I got. So I got these little pot stickers, and you could get them boiled or fried. So I got them fried, and they mixed with like a pork and cabbage and vegetables in it. We've got some chicken teriyaki. We've got some egg rolls, and I just cut it in half to kind of make it a little easier to cook. 
little easier to eat. Yeah, I don't have to do the cooking. And some fantail shrimp. So the pot stickers came with this really hot and spicy dipping sauce. And then I ordered a side of the sesame sauce. Oh my God, they gave me like a pint sized container. It was like a dollar fifty, And I was gonna, thinking it was gonna be like this size. So first I put down two and then I said, no, nah, I'll just get the one. Thank goodness I did one because it's like a pint size container. I've got some frozen chicken, little tidbits or whatever, those chicken pieces. I'm going to use the sauce and make my own sesame chicken this week. I know, it's going to be good. So this is a nice, rich sesame sauce for your chicken. It's going to be so, so good. So that is what we're going to have for our dinner tonight. So anyway, we're going to try to get this filmed and uploaded on a Wednesday. So I hope everyone is having a fabulous week so far and you're halfway through the week and you're thinking, oh my gosh, two more days and then it's the weekend. Yeah, so I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and maybe you've got some nice plans. We've had some some more snow. We've got at least more some, some more snow in the forecast. To, well, I'm filming it on a Sunday, so we actually warmed up to like 32 today. You would be surprised how much melting happens when the sun's out and it's 32 degrees. And um, but we are expecting some rain tonight and then I think snow tomorrow. So, but anyway, I'm not going anywhere. And now that I found DoorDash, I'm going to have to go out of the house again. Yeah. Alrighty. So let's pour this in here. And I really enjoyed this advent calendar the countdown to new year's with these little tiny bottles of champagne so good you can see it's got a lot of effervescence in here nice sparkling wine and this is a raffino i'm not sure if i've ever really noticed that in the stores but of course i never really looked it's a product of italy and it's a prosecco which tells me it's probably going to be a nice dry sparkling wine so Happy Wednesday, everybody. I hope you go out, enjoy the rest of the week, have some fun. I hope you have some great plans. I hope wherever you are, the weather is cooperating with you. I know there's like mudslides and flooding and, you, you know, it's always something. I don't know if there's a perfect place to live. You know, you've got hurricanes and areas and tornadoes and wildfires and severe snow and is there a perfect place to live? I don't know. So you just enjoy where you are, have fun, enjoy life, and do what makes you happy. In, you know, moderation. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Gonna have a sip. Alrighty. So this is going to be a nice little treat with my appetizers here. And um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to finishing out the week with you guys, and we will all chat again later. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be happy. Be kind. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. We will see you in our next video.